What's up guys, it's Jannik here from Calisthenics Family and welcome to a very special video because today we're gonna teach you how to unlock the straddle plank. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so welcome to the video and today we have a special guest, a team member of the gym. Welcome, so this is Jules and he's going to take you through all the steps to unlock the straddle plank. So maybe you can introduce yourself first. Yeah, my name is Jules. I recently uh, turned 18 and I've been training calisthenics since October now. Before that I did fitness and weightlifting since my 15th birthday. And today we're going to demonstrate how to unlock a straddle plank. So let's go guys. Alright, so the straddle plank. For me personally it took 10 months to unlock this move. I unlocked this move with different kinds of progressions. The first progression that I'm going to show you guys is the planche lean. A very important exercise in order to get that straight arm strength and scapula strength. The first thing you do is place your hands on the parallettes, keep yourself like this, and the first movement you want to make is lean. And while you're leaning, make sure that your biceps turn forward. And then protect your scapula. And if you want to make it harder for yourself, lean more. So what I meant with protection is very important for the planche lean. The difference between protection and not protracting your scapula is this. This is not protracting your scapula. In order to protract your scapula, this is what you do. You push yourself to the ground with your shoulders. This is a protracted form. All right, so the first goal you're working towards is holding that planche lean for at least 15 seconds. And make sure to keep the technique well. Biceps forward, scapula protracted. 15 seconds is all you need. And if you want, you can film yourself from the side and watch your own technique. Once your hands are in line with your hips, your form is correct and you are ready to progress. Second progression for your straddle planche are pseudo push-ups. Pseudo push-ups are different from regular push-ups. With pseudo push-ups you lean forward and then make a push-up. But make sure that you protract your scapula all the way, so like this. This is a correct pseudo push-up. The commonly made mistake is that people do not protract their scapula the whole way. And this is how that looks. This is a wrong uh, pseudo push-up. So not protracting your scapula was one big mistake that I made myself. Luckily I've improved my form and that is how a correct pseudo push-up looks like. All right, so this is the third progression towards your straddle planche. It is called the tucked planche. When doing the tucked planche, make sure that your arms are always straight, very important. With keeping your arms straight, make sure that your elbows are rotated inward. And again, protract your scapula. All right, so the goal you want to set for yourself is to hold this exercise for around 15 to 20 seconds. Once you have achieved this goal, you can progress to the next exercise. All right guys, so this is the fourth progression towards your straddle planche. I personally call this the frog planche. So a very important thing with the frog planche is to keep your arms straight as always and rotate your elbows inward. Besides that, this is actually the first exercise where you'll be learning to open up your hips. And a big difference between this exercise and the previous exercise is that you're bringing your knees further away from your body which will make it harder for you. Again, the goal that you're working towards is to hold this progression for at least 15 to 20 seconds. After that, you're ready to progress. All right, guys, so the correct way to train this exercise is to work with sets. Try to do three sets with eight to 12 uh, seconds each set. Once you are able to do one rep with between 15 and 20 seconds, you are ready to progress. Fifth progression towards a straddle planche is an assisted straddle planche. And for this exercise, I'll be taking a resistance band. All 
All right. If you're using parallettes, make sure that the parallettes are in direct line with the bar. Very important. Place this band in line with your hips. Very important because this will carry your weight. Lean backwards, open up your hips, feet outward, and now you will start to lean. Keep those arms very straight, biceps forward. And once you're leaning forward, you will notice that your legs will rise like this. Try to hold this as long as possible and keep those feet to the side. All right. So that was an assistant straddle planche. All right guys, so if you notice that your straddle planche isn't working with a band like this, you can also take a much thicker band. Try to hold the assisted straddle planche for around 15 seconds because we're actually working on our technique and the technique is the most important part of this exercise. And if you notice that you can hold this exercise for 15 seconds with a thicker band, then you can take a lighter band and work your way down. All right guys, so we've come very far with the exercises and now it's time to do a straddle planche without resistance. So again, the same technique as the previous video, but this time without a resistance band. All right, backwards, open up your hips, feet to the sides, and now you're leaning again, just as we, as we did in the previous video. Keep the arms straight, elbows inward, and that's how you do a correct straddle planche. All right guys, so one very important tip that I want to give you is make sure that your glutes are activated while doing a straddle planche. This way, you will not look like a banana and you will make sure that you are making a perfect straight line and have a perfect form and technique with your straddle planche. All right guys, so now let's wrap up all these exercises in one set. Planche lean. Oh. From planche lean, you'll be going to pseudo push-ups. Then you're going to tucked planche. And from tucked planche, you're going to the frog planche. And the final, straddle. Woo! <laughs> All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that you've learned something about straddle planche. In case you want to increase your skills, I would recommend to check out Calisthenics Family website and look at the full journey program. Like and subscribe and give me a follow on Instagram if you want by Jules Coulant. All right guys, so see you next time. Peace. plus the online coaching for a very affordable price. Uh, so I decided to try it. If anyone's looking to start calisthenics, I would highly recommend this. Uh, it'll, it'll do the same for you. I'm Gordon, and I've been with Calisthenics Family for almost three months now, and all the time I've had Yannick as my trainer. Uh, like Mike or Yannick can just be like that little extra push to keep you going. you also seen the pictures. I'm really proud of myself that what I achieved in the last eight weeks Go for it and start your journey.